love bugs is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for taking the time out for yourself being able to um, get through these trying times as we, you know, we try to heal from things that were sent to really put a, a damper on our lives. <laughs> um, just taking time out for yourself to go ahead and do all the necessary healing that we truly need to have. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're telling me about your impact, the gift, how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is very informative to you or just gave you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath, they're really going through some really dark times right now and need confirmation or validation towards the life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, oh, sorry, I had to turn down the other one because it was too loud. Um, this, the background meditation I'm using right now is from, uh, the channel, uh, ASMR Miracle Manifestation Music is called Awaken Your Divine Self, Discover How Powerful You Are, A, uh, ASMR Quantum, Theta Beta, uh, Brainwaves, Brain, uh, Brain Sounds, and I will post that link in the description box below. You know, sometimes I can't listen to them rain sounds because they be making me have to go to the bathroom. So I'm just I'm glad this one is not really really physically doing the uh, you know the actual rain to that point where I have to go. Uh, so anyways, the uh, video I'm doing today is Twin Flame 101. Hey Oka, a change is coming for you. Believe that. You know, there's times that we can really be going through some things, and you know, you're you're trying to do everything you and your power to heal from different things, you know, see the things that you truly need to see, pay attention to, let go and cutting cords off of things that are not serving you in a positive, you know, light or, you know, serving a positive, you know, imprint on your life. You know, it can be very hard, you know, especially when you have been going through them for so long, you, you know, you see the signs, um, you get um, different you know, clues that, you know, change is coming for you, you know, better things are on its way, you just have to hold on a little bit longer, and I already know, with me being a Taurus and being how I am, my situation has really taught me faith, really has taught me believing in myself as well as in believing in the universe, um, being patient, you know, your situation will teach you a lot of things that you, you know, that you have had weaknesses with, you know, throughout your life, you know, God and universe has a crazy way of allowing things to happen for you to be able to open up and really truly see the tragic situations, you know, convert over to a positive outcome that will better your life. Um, sometimes, it, you know, when it comes to death and stuff like that, it can really mess you up. You know, I, I can see I've lost a lot of people along the way that was hold dear to my heart um, that are no longer here. But it's just like a blessing for me to be able to have that gift to talk to the dead. You know, I hear their voices all the time. Some of them I haven't met that, you know, just came in lines of just associating yourself with my dad. And it's just like, it took me back like, wow. You know, I'm like, man, you come to see me. It made me feel all important. So, you know, it, it's just a blessing to be able to go through these things and being able to share of my visions, uh, my the things that I've learned, um, the things that, you know, I had to separate myself from, the things that I tried, you know, I'm currently overcoming and I have overcome. You know, when we go through, you know, difficult situations, it can really, you know, put us in a dark place. And it's just like, it wasn't, you know, you have to have your grieving point when you're dealing with a lot of things. Even, I mean, it doesn't even have to really do with death, but it's just something that has really messed you up in the long run throughout your life that has brought you to this, you know, to this point right now. You have to really be able to look at it and see what life is trying to teach you. Um, 
it, it's just like with me, I had to basically, you know, learn forgiveness throughout everything. Love can conquer anything. When you have that, you know, when you have love in your heart and, you know, you can be able to forgive and deal with whatever you got to deal with in part ways with a lot of things. It, it can really, you know, it, it just like when you really dealing with some tragic stuff, it'll have you looking at all the things that, you know, that experience, what life is teaching you, uh, what life has in store for you, what are, what are your rewards that you're reaping from, you know, for dealing with this the way you dealt with it. Because it's just like whatever has been, pop, you know, whatever been, whatever has been placed upon your life, it can really mess you up. But it is like with my, my situation, I can see mine as just like, you know, I have connections behind all measures. You know, even though if the people that I love and care for is no longer here in the physical realm, they always got my back and support on the spiritual one. You know, I, I talk to my mom a lot. I talk to my dad every day. You know, my grandparents communicate with me a lot. You know, my sister, my best friends that have passed. You know, it, it, you know, and it's been hard. It's really been hard. But, you know, all those relationships that I've had or even wasn't able to have that physical connection with has taught me one, one thing or another. You know, there's a lot of times, you know, that we have people that's in our life to teach us, to hurt us, or for us to acknowledge, no matter if it's good or bad, you learn something from those situations. You learn something that um, you you had to add towards your, you know, towards your list to do. It's just like, you know, I've always had that bad habit of holding grudges from people that have went out their way to hurt me you know i'll be ready to cut somebody out like you know you did something to me you have enough nerve to come back there's times i ain't even gonna lie i have cussed people out like if you don't stay the hell away from me you know especially when i tell you what you did and you know what you did but it was just like i shouldn't have went about it that way and i had to learn the hard way from that I'm just like, okay, you know, they're no longer in my life, but you know, what is this situation taught you? You know, you can't hold anger in your heart. You know, if you want to be able to know and feel that ultimate love, you have to be able to put forgiveness in that for you to be able to achieve that, you know, wanting love. You have, you have to be able to know that, you know, whatever situation you're in, you could be in a toxic relationship or been in a toxic relationship with someone. And, you know, that, that really messed you up. It had you putting walls up. It had you not wanting to trust people. It had you, you know, looking at people a different way. I've, I've, I've been in that route before, and I've also associated myself with people that have gone through things. And I sympathize with them. I really, truly do. But it's just like, you know, with me going through the hardship I've gone through, I've never really known what love felt like until you know I found out who my father was and it was just like being able to know he's always had that you know that that's what I hold dear to my heart even though it broke my heart I was never able to reunite with him like that it's just to know that he had that unconditional love for me regardless you know he's always been like my superhero he's always been my guardian angel it's like before I came to this lifetime I was there for him as well um you know even though I didn't you know, make it that last time. But God being able to place that in my life to see all the connections me and my dad has been through. My bro my dad has been my twin brother twice. You know, he has been my cousin slash husband back in, you know, back in AD days. And I remember different situations from that. Um, being best friends at one time, you know, but people were swearing up and down, you know, y'all got to be related. Y'all look just alike, you know, we're like, no, we're really good friends. I remember all those different times that me and my dad were solely contracted towards each other. It's like one way or another, we always played a different part in each other's lives. And that's, that's a blessing to be able to remember that. So I hold that dear to my heart, being able to, you know, thanking God, you know, thank you for allowing me to remember my past lives because there was a lot of things that I went through I truly didn't understand on why, why I remember certain things in my life that has happened, you know, and my mom will always tell, you know, my dad, my biological dad, you know, there's something, you know, very special about her. She knows about things she shouldn't know about or she's talking about certain things that she shouldn't talk about. Well, you know, she didn't know because it's like a lot of people that was close to my dad, you know, a lot of people didn't know my dad was a twin, you know, and it, it was just like your dad was a twin. It was like, but I ended up talking to somebody and like, yes, how did you know that? I said, because I was the twin, you know, I remember certain things that me and my dad used to play when I was just that spirit guide for him, you know, and being able to remember certain things like that, you know, it kind of freaked my family out. And when I used to tell him, you know, just the little things we used to play with, he had his little favorite fire truck that he went everywhere with. 
you know, and I, you know, he always used to have people tease him and call him little Pee Wee, you know, little hurtful things because he was so tiny for his age. You know, he was like the smallest one. And it was just like going through all those different situations. Um, I, you know, I knew that that was a blessing to be able to have those attachments, to be able to have those connections. And it's just like, there's times, you know, I feel, you know, like I'm in a dark place where, you know, I'm physically and emotionally exhausted, you know, trying to still push out positivity and keep myself in an optimistic, optimistic, you know, viewpoint, you know, it got hard, but it's just like, I see how my situation is really helping me is it either can hinder you or help you and it was just like it's really helped me to be able to have that empathy towards a lot of people you know being able to know that even if you did some damaging things to me in my life i can be able to let it go and not you know we ain't got to be friends but you you didn't you know you didn't gain me as an enemy it's just like you can't eat with me no more <laughs> you can't you just can't do that i pray for that person you know i hope all is well and whatever they're you know they were struggling with i hope the best for them you know i but the old roslyn you know you could have been hit by a railroad track i mean hit on a railroad track and i'll still be mad at you about something and it's just like i had to be able to learn to let those things go you know dealing with you know my situation has really taught me how to do that. You know, even though sometimes I still struggle with certain situations that, you know, I forgot all about, it was just like, shoot, as soon as I, you know, get over one thing and forgive somebody for something, something else popped up that you did to me. And I'm like, damn, now I'm gonna have to forgive you all over again just because of this little mess, you know? And there's a lot of things I've suppressed because it got too painful. You know, I had to deal with growing up. You know, it was a lot of hurtful things that, you know, like I said, I would never wish any of these things on my worst enemy because there's no way in hell I would want anybody to ever feel like I felt, you know? But being able to use this situation for a positive outcome, a positive glow up, to be able to help people. It gives me a peace of mind and that, you know, humbles my heart. I tell y'all all the time, I feel blessed when I'm able to connect with you on those different levels, to be able to give you that reassurance. You know, even though you're dealing with dark times, change is coming for you. You know, you have to just really believe in yourself and believe in the universe. The universe is working overtime to help you get the blessings that you truly need in your life. And it's like I tell people, you might be praying for one thing. And when everything is said and done, just because of all the daggone mess you done went through, how much crap you had to take, you know, even though there was stuff that constantly came at you in a negative situation, you still try to have that love in your heart and not allowing people or your circumstances make you bitter. You know, because I've been at that point where I was bitter. I ain't even going to lie to you. I keep it real like that. You know, I've been in my bitter moments to where I felt like, you know, I, I, I have a right to know who I belong to. I have a right to be able to have that connection. And people denied me of that. And I got mad, but then I had to step back and see, why did you have to go through this? Yeah, it's a second situation to have to experience. But that situation from the desperation of wanting to be connected has brought so much joy in my life because I had to be able to endure this to be able to help others along the way to try to deal with the differences you know the different painful situations you have been placed in giving you that sense of comfort to let you know you're not dealing with your situations alone you're not um struggling with them alone you know you you have you know your angels you have your loved ones that has passed on you have people that really love you that want the best for you even the ones that don't want the best for you you can use that motivation to be, you know, the, the, the haters are your motivators. You have to be able to deal with, it, deal with it like that. Because when you're coming up on a, a glow up, you can't be focusing on what people got to say about you or what they think about you or, you know, saying you would never amount to anything. I've had people tell me I wouldn't amount to anything just because of all the BS I used to do back in the day. Because I was a badass kid. You know, if I wasn't doing the things that I was doing, you know, but I'm no longer that. Those situations have got me to where I am today to be able to say, you know, hey, life ain't perfect. We have done things we're not proud of. Like I've told y'all before, I've been evicted out of my house. I not had cars taken away because repo, because I couldn't be able to, you know, pay for them. I've been on food stamps. I've been on Section 8. You know, I, you know, I shoplifted to, just to make sure my kids had. You know, I stole just to make sure my kids ate. You know, I hustled and did what I had to do. You know, I used to dance to be able to make sure my household was taken care of. 
Like I said, the only thing I never did is prostitute. That's the only thing I ain't never did. You know, but anything else, I made that sacrifice for my kids because those are the things that's made me who I am today. To be able to let you know, those situations has helped me, you know, conquer a lot of things. You know, my, my, my mom's ex-husband's family used to always say, don't do anything that you might end up regretting for later. You might be famous one day. Never understood why they said that. You know, they kept on saying, you, you ever think if you become famous, do you want people to know you for those things? I'm like, I really don't care. You know, because the people didn't have to endure the things I had to go through. You know, for me to have to do that. I was a mother at 16. I had to grow up really fast. I had my children on purpose. Why well, I told my daughter I had my first daughter on purpose because I felt like I wasn't loved. So I it created something that would love me regardless. My other two, they're not mistakes, but they weren't planned. And I always told them that. But, you know, I'm blessed to be able to have my, my girls. You know, knowing that my girls surpassed everything that I did. You know, my oldest daughter, she's 24. You know, she just had her baby at 22. You know, me and my mom had, you know, my mom had me at 16 and I had her at 16. I'm blessed to be able to see, even though I was a high school dropout, just being able to have blessed beyond measures to see that my girls graduated from high school and heading to college. Two in college, one heading there. You know, those are my, you know, my accomplishments. I said, I might not have been the best thing in the world. And I might have not been the mama of a year, but being able to see my kids doing a lot better than what I was doing, that was a blessing being able to know that you know just being able to help other people that are dealing with all those different situations is a blessing as well so just know the situations that you're dealing with is going to bring a blessing a big blessing to you even when you see signs or even when it's hard for you to actually see that know that you're not working you know i've told y'all before though your hard work and effort blood sweat and tears is not in vain they're not having you go all the way out drop the things that you were used to having to have that new life you know with your gift and spiritual awakening for no reason this is going to bring you up on something that you never will be able to comprehend because when it comes you're going to be like what the hell <laughs> you know you you pray for one thing and they don't triple it just because the hell you don't went through so allow that to sink in with you and no better days are coming for you so like and subscribe let me know if you you know you resonate with this video it's truly appreciated give me a thumbs up you know hit that bell you know um share you know, be 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 positive, show love towards people. Even when they don't, you say hi and they don't say hi back, still be good. You know, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. I'll see you on my next video. Peace. Be wild.